Maria Menounos is showing off her healing body. The 45-year-old media personality took to her Instagram on Sunday to share a mirror selfie rocking a brown string bikini and revealing four scars that can be seen across her stomach from her pancreatic cancer surgery. Captioning the post, I look back on surgery earlier this year and am grateful for the strength God blessed me with to get through and of course all of the beautiful humans that he sent to help me too. Now I see the scars that I sunscreen up carefully to protect and I smile. Maria was diagnosed with stage two pancreatic cancer in January and she underwent surgery to remove the tumor as well as part of her pancreas, her spleen, a large fibroid and 17 lymph nodes. During this stressful time, the entertainment journalist and her husband, Kevin Undergaro, shared that after a decade of fertility struggles, they were expecting a baby girl via surrogate. Access Hollywood's Kid Hoover sat down with Maria back in May when the news came out, and she gave an exclusive health update and broke down how she found out about her diagnosis. So they went in to remove the fibroid. So when I was diagnosed with this tumor, the pancreatic tumor, I said... How were you diagnosed? How did, how did they find it? So... I had been trying to figure out the source of some weird pains and throbbings and feelings I was having. I was having a lot of like throbbing in my upper left side. It never made sense to me that I was diagnosed with diabetes either at 43 years old, someone who had cut sugar for two years and was eating so well um, and doing all the right things. Um, that didn't make sense to me. And so I was having this pain here and uh, there was definitely some stuff in my abdomen. Everything was all pushed and moved. And I had severe abdominal pain. I went to the hospital. I, I literally couldn't stand up. For me to say I have to go to the hospital, it's like big. And I went to the hospital and they did a CAT scan and they said, they literally list the organs. Spleen, unremarkable. Pancreas, unremarkable. Stomach, unremarkable. But when we look back, this pancreas was not unremarkable. The pancreas had a two centimeter mass on it. How did they not see it way back then? What I'm told is that different scans are better at identifying things. And so an MRI would have picked it up, I guess, better than the CAT scan. When they looked back, it was easy to identify with the knowledge that was it was there. But without the knowledge, you're told what? Go home, you're fine. Go home, you're fine. It doubled in size by January. And so the only reason I found it in January is this woman, Alina, grabbed me by the shoulders at Anastasia's house at her birthday party at the holidays and said, you have to come in, you have to come in. Um, I have this new company called Pernuvo and we're doing these scans and you need to come in. But she's very aggressive. And I was like, okay, okay. And I scheduled it and I was scared leading up to it because I knew stuff was going on. I'd been researching thermography. I was researching and constantly trying to find out what was the source of this pain. Was there any part of you that thought, maybe this is in my head, I've had so much going on, they showed nothing? No, because I know the body doesn't lie. We're taught to mask the pain, but the pain is a signal. It's telling you something's wrong. So I don't take anything unless absolutely necessary. I'm listening to my body. And so I knew something was wrong. My husband thought I was being a little kooky. To be honest, he was like, Maria, you're really going overboard. I'm like, Kevin, I know something's wrong. And I go, when are you going to believe me? <laughs> and so um, I went to do that scan and they found the mass. And he was like, you need to go to the hospital right now. So I left the scan. When they got the scan, did they say fibroid or they say this looks like pancreatic cancer? So he saw a large mass on my pancreas and he was very clearly frightened and disturbed and like just he was he needed consoling and I started consoling him and so I could tell and I know a mass on your pancreas isn't good I know a mass on anything isn't good so I texted my my primary care physician Dr. Aaron and I said I need to come in we need an MRI right away and they got me right in and I got the MRI and uh, he, you know, confirmed it was there. And then from there, we had to do a biopsy. What was your reaction? You've already been through all of these other I things. I was in shock. I was numb. I was terrified. I was like, this is a cruel joke. Like, how much more can I take? And you're hearing this knowing that you have a beautiful baby. Oh, please, kid. On the way. <laughs> and after just losing your mom. That's all I could think about. Because when I was diagnosed with a brain tumor, I remember 
having dealt with so much toxicity and so many things, and it was such a rough ride that I was like, oof, if this is it, let's go. I'm fine. And I didn't care. I knew that wasn't a good thing, but I didn't really care other than I knew I had to take care of my mom. But I have to care now in a bigger way. And so the morning after they confirmed it at UCLA with the MRI, I was guttural crying. Kevin and I couldn't get out of bed. And I just kept looking at my, my mantle. I have all my church icons where I pray. And I was like, how could you finally bless me with a baby? And now I'm not going to get to meet her? Like, how is this possible? 